Art to me is a long journey. It's light or dark. It's, it's about extremes. It's about opposites. I knew in the first grade that I was going to grow up and be an artist, and that sounds really weird or pretentious, but I knew that. Art was the one thing I could do well, and it held my interest and I had a passion for it. It was the one friend I had all along when there was no one else there for me. Art to me is man-made. Art to me is something that is made with a purpose. Art to me can't hurt you. It is something that will challenge you, confront you, make you feel something. Art, good art will put you in one place your starting point and once you've looked at it and gone through the experience it will take you and deliver you and drop you in a different place. Sometimes I look at my work and I think maybe I'm just looking for a calm place to rest momentarily or a place of beauty. Life is can be very overwhelming, very intense and I sometimes think that's what I'm, I'm looking for is you know, maybe a momentary calm. A multitude of, of, of emotions run through you or run through me when I look at abstract art. It depends on what artist I'm looking at, um, the nature of the work, whether it's very emotionally driven, uh, very expressive, or is it steps back a little bit from that. Um, you can run from anger to hurt to sadness to happiness to elation. I mean, good abstract will take you on an emotional journey. You start at one point and you end up at a very different point. I've been using a lot of styrofoam to, that gives me a very quick immediate shape and I several layers of paint just to kind of cover all the pores up and then I go ahead and lay down a layer of glue on top of the paint and then start pouring the sand all over it which adheres to the glue. Let it dry completely and then I put a second layer of sand on it which really changes the essence of the styrofoam ball. I'm working with felt, uh, stacking it, twisting it, turning it, uh, layering it. Uh, I'm still working with paint and wood which I've worked with paint and wood on and off now for over 20 years. I've used different kinds of cloth, netting, which has been a kind of a lot of fun. Uh, just a lot of different materials, trying them in different ways, trying to push the materials, a statement, come up with something different. Color has always been there for me. I've had a fascination with it for as long as I remember. I mean, even in high school, on my art classes in high school, I loved color and playing with it. And in graduate school, I loved my design courses. A lot of people don't, but I find them very fascinating and I had a good experience. I learned a lot in my color courses. And I initially became very aware of the power that color has over the viewer and that appealed to me. And it's just, color exists on many different levels and I like that and I find it just fascinating working with it. And I love discovering new things about it, which is, I constantly do. When I put a show up, I usually try to put up the best show and the most substantial statement that I possibly can. I think you just have to be honest to what you are doing and there will be an audience waiting for you. I want them to see and feel some kind of connection to what I'm doing, to their life experience, um, an emotional reaction to what is standing in front of them, to have in a way just as many questions answered and left unanswered when they get done looking at these pieces. I mean, I've had many people say that there's an essence to my work of, of seriousness, of dedication, and they like that. Mm -hmm.